remarkable is normally when someone testifies in opposition to a senator's bill, they are not sitting behind that senator openly carrying a deadly weapon. If we were in the U.S. Capitol building, this would not have been tolerated. I support an individual's right to bear arms, but like all other rights, there are parameters. On Friday, hundreds of opponents to proposed legislation showed up in the Capitol in a, disp in a display that was intended, clearly intended to intimidate this body. Some may question the judgment of individuals who would be so bold as to have their finger on the tri trigger of a loaded assault rifle during a legislative testimony. Colleagues, I'm asking that we as a body come together to do better for one another and for the individuals vis visiting this building. Allowing weapons in this building, especially into committee rooms, suppresses the voices of those who stand in opposition to the gun holders. It was clearly the intent to intimidate this body. I won't assume to speak for others in this legislature, but for myself, I was intimidated. I was scared. I was worried about how someone might react to my bill and what I had to say might trigger a dangerous reaction. I was worried about getting home to my children. I was worried about the safety of people testifying in support of my bill, the safeties of the members of the Judiciary Committee, the safety of our pages and sergeants at arms. No one should come before this body and fear for their safety when expressing a viewpoint. Every single day we hear from individuals we agree and disagree with on innumerable topics. Never before Friday had I been concerned about everyone's safety in exercising their First Amendment rights. I have reread the rules governing this body several times this weekend, and I have found them to be egregiously inadequate. I also searched the Capitol Commission's rules and regulations. Both of these documents are 100% silent on the issue of bringing weapons of any kind into this building. Additionally, we clearly have absolutely no protocols in place to address this body and the public when 400 citizens converge on the Capitol to express their viewpoints while likely carrying a deadly weapon. As an introducer of one of the two bills addressing gun regulations in this state on Friday, I am mystified that the only reason I had security was because I asked for it after hearing from a passerby in the, in the hallway that individuals were carrying semi-automatic rifles. Why was the full body not briefed? We were alerted about concerns about the public email and immediate and swift action was taken. The Omaha World Herald stated AR-15, a semi-automatic rifle mainly used for self-defense. I cannot recall a single news story referencing an AR-15 being used for anything beyond mass shootings. I cannot find a single <laughs> news story about it being used for self-defense. As this body may recall, I have spoken pu publicly several times about how the Parkland shooting on February 14th, 2018 impacted my teenage relatives. After what transpired in this building, in my place of work on Friday, I am traumatized. That does not make me weak. One minute. That doesn't mean that anyone who was here last week won or lost some mystical battle. What it does mean is that I'm going to do what I have done from day one on this job, and I am going to speak truth to power. I was intimidated, I was scared, and today I am picking myself back up again and let everyone in this body, everyone that I represent, and everyone that comes here to share their views on the work we do, that I will continue to show up for you all. I will continue to speak truth to power even when it pers is personally challenging and a bit scary for me to do so. Not speaking up today would have meant I let the strangers define who I am and how I lead and legislate, and I will not let that happen ever. I will close by saying I believe in our Constitution. I believe in our rights to bear arms. I support every individual showing up to share their story. I will continue to show up to hear them. But as a body, we can and should do better for the care and safety of every soul in this building. Thank you to the Sergeant at Arms and State Troopers for being ever vigilant. Thank you, Mr. Lieutenant Governor. Thank you, Senator Kavanaugh. Senator Hilgers. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, colleagues. Is Senator Wayne on the floor. Senator Wayne, would you yield, please? I do not see I don't Senator see him. Wayne. Okay. Um, 